Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's weekly guidance message for this upcoming week. In this message, Virgo, we are going to tap into the energy surrounding you. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Virgo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? Virgo. There's a particular person in your life that is coming back around that I feel like you do have an intense connection with this person, but there is also a lot of confusion. There's been a lot of stagnancy, a lot of uncertainty, okay? A lot of going back and forth between you and this person. I feel like this person is offering you balance, stability. They're coming in and trying to be fair. I honestly, we're going to clarify this in a minute. I feel like this person needs you for something. Okay, I'm just throwing that out there. They could come in normal, but with the full energy, guys, there's always that look before you leap. Okay, pay attention. The challenge here is in the past, this hasn't worked. In the past, this has not worked out. Okay, I feel like there's been a lot of work, there's been a lot of time, there's been a lot of effort put into this connection, but things just haven't come together up to this point. It's been rocky. Okay, I definitely feel like there's a need to prepare for this conversation for this person coming back in. Now we're going to clarify this right now, but I honestly feel like there's going to be a need to set some boundaries here when it comes to this particular connection. So let's start with the justice, the fool, the lover's energy here for the energy surrounding Virgo this week. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is appreciated. It does help with the growth and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. Please clarify the justice, the fool, the lover's energy for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? Now, the other way that I'm seeing this message, guys, is a boss situation, okay? There may be a boss here, somebody that you work with that you're needing to stand your ground, that you're needing to set a particular boundary with, okay? Stand your truth. Stand in your truth, okay? Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Swords here. Now, whenever a card is in the challenged position, you read the Shadow Energy. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords. What does Virgo need to know, Spirit? Please and thank you. Hmm. This hasn't been fair. Whatever you're dealing with, whether this is a work situation or this is a relationship, a romantic partnership, this partnership has not been fair. There has not been equal give and take here in this connection. Okay, And this has definitely caused some hindrance in the growth here. Now, I do feel like you are realizing that this is a problem or this is causing problems. And I do feel like there is a need to communicate a boundary. 
I will say be mindful. We have the Eight of Swords in the outcome. So this is um, a very anxious type of impulsive type of energy. So just be mindful. Take some time and think about what exactly it is you want to say. Be strategic with how you say it. Remember, it's not always about what you say, but about how you say it. So let's clarify. High Priestess, Eight of Wands with the Eight of Swords here for Virgo's energy. I do feel like there is hope that this is going to work in your favor. I will say that. But trying to approach this situation more stern or standing your ground in your power. So not letting this person, you know, being trying to be subtle but also standing your ground, it can be difficult. So that's why instead of trying to be subtle, trying to have a soft approach, be strategic and speak your truth, okay? So don't be so harsh with your words, but you're going to have to be direct. And maybe that's not normally how you approach these types of situations, especially if this is having to deal with a boss or an authoritative figure. But I do feel here, Virgo, this time it's going to be important this person may have an epiphany. I feel like that's what's going to happen. This person is going to have an epiphany about, oh, maybe Virgo's right. But again, that firm, yet standing in your truth, okay? So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice moving forward here in this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Advice, guidance, moving forward here for Virgo Spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? Okay, so I feel like this is coming to a close. This chapter is coming to a close. Especially if this is having to do with a boss situation, Virgo. I feel like maybe this transition has been a long time coming. Now, for those of you that this is a partnership, I do feel like this is taking things to the next level, okay? this can The Ten of Swords in the reverse can also be a reconciliation. If this is a romantic partnership, I do feel here this Ten of Swords is a potential reconciliation, but you are going to have to take some time and stand your ground and set that boundary with this person, okay? Now, for some of you, this person is going to pull back. That's going to cause this person to walk away. And that's going to be okay. Okay, understand that that's okay. Um, don't be afraid to stand your ground here. Even if this person walks away, you have to be okay with that's a potential outcome. But I feel, Virgo, once you stand your ground you're going to feel a lot lighter, okay? You're going to feel like more powerful. You're going to feel like I can do this, okay? That I know what I want and I'm not afraid to go after it. If this is a chapter that's coming to a close within a romantic partnership, you're going to need to take some time to recalibrate your energy, okay? And this is obviously just a weekly reading. So for this week, um, this is a prediction of things coming to an end here, okay? But feeling free from this, feeling liberated from this ending, okay? And taking some time with yourself. Now, the hermit energy is also Virgo's energy. So this is standing in your power, standing in your truth. Let's pull a soul truth message to sum up your reading. Overall, Virgo, I feel like the main message that's coming out is there's a particular person that you're needing to set some boundaries with. I feel like you know who this is intuitively. Most of you already had picked that up at the beginning of the reading. Um, 
but maybe a little bit of freight of a fear coming out because you're not knowing how this person is going to react and it's very likely that this person is going to react the exact way that you think you don't want them to act or react okay but you have to be okay with that outcome because you are being called to set that boundary stand in your truth your soul truth message virgo is what risk can i take today be not mistaken you will have to take bigger risks than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams. You'll have to take the big scary leap, but do not fret because your soul has wings. Today's soul action, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover what you're really made of. What risk can I take today? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.